In the heart of Mexico's infamous drug trade, a gripping tale of power, violence, and intrigue unfolded. The arrest of El Chapo's son sent shockwaves through the criminal underworld and reverberated across international borders. Join us as we delve deep into the events surrounding the arrest, the implications of the war on drugs, and the complexities of battling narco power. Number 6. The Rise of a Narco Dynasty The Guzman family had long held a significant role in Mexican drug trade. Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, the patriarch, rose to infamy as the leader of the Sinaloa Cartel, one of the most powerful and feared criminal organizations in the world. His son, Ovidio Guzman Lopez, was groomed to inherit this empire of crime. The Sinaloa cartel had established itself as a formidable force, controlling vast drug trafficking routes and corrupting elements of the Mexican government. Ovidio Guzman Lopez was being prepared to continue his father's legacy, inheriting not just the empire, but also the rivalries and dangers that came with it. Ovidio's path was fraught with challenges as he sought to reconcile his family's legacy with his own aspirations. The shadow of his father's notoriety loomed large, both a source of power and a burden to bear. The rise of the Guzman dynasty was characterized by a lethal blend of ambition, ruthlessness, and calculated strategy. But as the empire's influence grew, so did the challenges it faced. By the early 2010s, the Sinaloa cartel's dominance faced new threats from rival organizations and increased pressure from law enforcement. The narco landscape was evolving, and the Guzman dynasty found itself navigating uncharted territory. Ovidio's involvement in negotiations, alliances, and the intricacies of cartel policies showcased a dynamic shift in narco power dynamics. The rise of a narco dynasty is a tale of ambition, audacity, and a web of power that spans generations. From the opium fields of Sinaloa to the tumultuous streets of Culiacan, the Guzman family's ascent reflects the enduring allure and complexities of the narco world. Number 5. The Arrest That Shook Mexico It all began with a meticulously planned operation by Mexican security forces to capture Ovidio Guzman Lopez who was considered a significant figure within the Sinaloa cartel. The decision to apprehend him was a bold move by the authorities to strike at the heart of the criminal empire. The arrest of Ovidio Guzman Lopez was seen as a high-stakes operation aimed at delivering a powerful blow to the Sinaloa cartel's leadership. On October 17, 2019, Mexican security forces launched an operation to capture Ovidio Guzman Lopez in the city of Culiacan. The attempt quickly spiraled into a violent showdown between cartel gunmen and the government forces, engulfing the city in chaos. Gunshots echoed through the streets, and people were terrified to leave their homes. It was like a war zone. The events in Culiacan showcased the sheer power of the Sinaloa cartel. They effectively took the city hostage forcing the authorities to release Ovidio Guzman to avoid further bloodshed. However, what was meant to be a swift and covert operation quickly escalated into a violent confrontation. As news of the arrest spread, armed members of the Sinaloa cartel mobilized to protect their own. The city of Culiacan, a stronghold of the Sinaloa cartel, erupted into scenes of chaos as heavily armed cartel gunmen took the streets to confront law enforcement. What followed was a harrowing display of narco power as cartel gunmen wheeled high-powered weapons brought the city to a standstill. Roads were barricaded, vehicles set ablaze, and gun battles erupted in broad daylight. Faced with an unprecedented show of force from the cartel, Mexican authorities found themselves in a precarious position. The lives of civilians, law enforcement officers, and the potential for a bloodbath weighed heavily on their decision-making. In a shocking turn of events, Mexican officials made a difficult choice to release Ovidio Guzman Lopez in exchange, in exchange for a cessation of violence. The decision, though controversial, 
was aimed at preventing civilian casualties and quelling the chaos that had engulfed Kuliakon. The Kuliakon showdown served as a stark reminder of the entrenched narco power that continues to challenge Mexico's institutions and security forces. It exposed the complexity of battling criminal organizations that wield immense influence and posed difficult questions about the effectiveness of law enforcement strategies. Number 4. The Narco State Nexus, Corruption and Influence the Culiacan incident exposed the deep-seated corruption and influence of the drug cartels within Mexican institutions. The narco-state nexus, where criminal organizations infiltrate and manipulate government bodies, had reached a dangerous tipping point. The narco-state nexus is a battle for territorial control, not just over drug routes, but over the institutions that shape the rule of law. Cartels strategically aligned themselves with specific government entities, ensuring that their interests were safeguarded. The symbolic relationship between cartels and government officials had allowed narco power to flourish, leading to a cycle of violence and impunity. The Culiacan events highlighted that even in the face of a high-profile arrest, the cartels could flex their muscles and dictate terms to the state. The narco-state nexus doesn't just corrode the rule of law, it also erodes the very foundations of democracy. When criminal organizations manipulate the political landscape, citizens are left disillusioned and disempowered. The narco-state nexus is a complex and insidious phenomenon that demands concerted efforts to unravel. Addressing corruption and breaking the hold of criminal organizations requires a multifaceted approach that encompasses law enforcement, institutional reform, and civic engagement. Number 3. International Ramifications The international implications of narco power were evident in the strained diplomatic relationships that often accompanied the drug trade. The arrest of El Chapo's son promoted discussions about extradition and cooperation between Mexico and the United States. The Sinaloa cartel's reach extended far beyond Mexico, the international ramifications of narco power were amplified by the extent of corruption that permeated government institutions in various countries. The cartel's ability to infiltrate and influence officials had implications beyond Mexican borders. It had become a transnational organization, smuggling drugs into the United States and other parts of the world. The arrest underscored the need for cross-border cooperation and a comprehensive strategy to combat the global drug trade. The arrest of El Chapo's son highlighted the often overlooked demand side of the drug trade. While Mexico was a primary producer, the United States and other countries served as significant markets for narcotics. The arrest also underscored the importance of cross-border collaboration in combating narco power. Law enforcement agencies from different countries needed to work together to disrupt the intricate web of trafficking networks. Number 2. The War on Drugs – Lessons and Challenges The arrest of Ovidio Guzman brought the broader issue of the War on Drugs into sharp focus, raising questions about its effectiveness and the need for alternative approaches. The war on drugs has predominantly focused on supply-side solutions, such as arrest and interdiction. However, it has often neglected the underlying socio-economic factors that drive people into the drug trade. To effectively address the issue, a comprehensive strategy that encompasses law enforcement, social programs, and international cooperation is crucial. Number 1. A Glimpse Into the Future As the dust settled after the Culiacan incident, the arrest of El Chapo's son became a turning point in the ongoing battle against narco power. The events in Culiacan may have emboldened the cartels, but they also sparked renewed determination among law enforcement agencies to dismantle these criminal networks. The arrest demonstrated the complexity of the challenge. It's not just about capturing individuals. It's about addressing the systemic issues that enable the drug trade to thrive. The future of narco power promises to be an era of adaptation and innovation. As law enforcement agencies leverage advanced technologies, cartels too are likely to employ cutting-edge methods to invade detection and perpetuate their operations.
The future may witness a diversification of cartel activities beyond drug trafficking. Cybercrime, human trafficking, and even bioterrorism could become new fronts in the battle against narco power. Globalization will continue to play a pivotal role in shaping the future of narco power. As borders blur and digital networks expand, criminal organizations can exploit new avenues for operations while law enforcement grapples with the challenges of cross-border cooperation. The arrest of El Chapo's son peeled back the layers of a criminal empire, exposing the deep-seated corruption, violence, and challenges inherent in battling narco power. It serves as a stark reminder that the war on drugs is far from over and requires a multifaceted approach to address its root causes and consequences. As the world watches and governments grapple with these complex issues, the legacy of El Chapo and his son serves as a cautionary tale and a call to action. Please subscribe to The Luxury World. Thank you for watching.